Now let's turn our attention to West Asia. What happens in Vegas could soon happen in Dubai. The United Arab Emirates has appointed a new gaming authority. It's not clear what gaming here refers to, but guess who has been hired to lead this federal entity? Veterans of the US gambling industry. The world is betting on a years long speculation. The UA could become the first Gulf state to legalize casinos. You see, Islam prohibits gambling. The UAE has strict regulations against it. But the country could wave aside religious criticism and decriminalize gambling. After all, the stakes are quite high. The UAE wants to triple its tourism revenue and what better option than gambling? It could pull in over $6 billion in revenue every year. Our next report tells you more. This is Dubai a city in the United Arab Emirates, home to the Burj Khalifa and numerous other skyscrapers. Its highways are full of gas-guzzling sports cars and the harbours are flooded with super yachts. In Dubai, money doesn't talk, it screams. With its glitzy desert landscape, it's become the city of choice for international stars and businessmen. It's often called the playground for the rich. But lately, Dubai has garnered another nickname, the Las Vegas of West Asia. Not just because Dubai is known for its party life, but also because much like Nevada's Vegas, it could soon become a gambling hub. The UAE has set up a new gaming authority. It's called the General Commercial Gaming Regulatory Authority. It will facilitate and manage the quote-unquote economic potential of commercial gaming. Now, no one knows what the word gaming here refers to. But most are betting on, you guessed it, gambling. For starters, the federal authority is being led by veterans of the gambling industry from the US. In 2018, Dubai began playing host to the famous Caesars Palace, the only branch of this hotel chain that doesn't offer gaming amenities. Meanwhile, resorts like MGN and Wynn that are popular for casinos are under construction in the desert nation. They've announced plans to set up gaming facilities. Again, with that word. The UAE doesn't want to come out and clarify the term just yet. Many believe the UAE could decriminalize gambling. So why can't the UAE just say it out loud? Because this will be a controversial move. You see, Islam prohibits gambling. And the UAE has strict regulations against it. If caught gambling, one could face up to two years in prison. Countries like Egypt and Lebanon allow gambling. So does Malaysia, which is a predominantly Muslim nation. But if the UAE allows it, it will become the first Gulf state to legalize casinos. This is bound to ruffle some feathers. But experts say the UAE is keen to take its chances and wave aside religious criticism. Why? Because the stakes are high. The UAE plans to triple its tourism revenue. Last year, tourism accounted for 9% of the Gulf nation's GDP. It drew in about $45 billion. By 2031, the government hopes to increase it to $121 billion. So the UAE wants to attract high-spending tourists and is willing to go all in. The introduction of resort-style casinos, much like those under construction in Dubai, could bring in the big bucks. Reports say the UAE could pull in over $6 billion of gaming revenue annually. That's not far from the Vegas gaming revenue. It made a record-breaking $8.3 billion last year. Some say Dubai could even surpass Vegas in the long run. Because unlike Nevada, it will probably target high-end and high-net-worth individuals. No one is sure if that will actually happen. But one thing is clear. The UAE has big money-making ambitions. So chances are, it will transform Dubai into the next sin city, even if some view it as a literal sin. <laughs>